Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you, Ivan? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. To I the feel class. very well. Okay, that's great, Ivan. Good to know. Hello, Jaime. Hello, Francisco Antonio. Hugo, Giovanni, Marta, <clears throat> Marta, Damaris, Maria Dolores, Andrea, Hello, Ivan. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class, everyone. How are you? How was your day today? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Francisco. How was your Fine, day? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay, that's great. Any other answer? Did you have a good day today? Today is, uh, let's see. Today is Wednesday, the middle of the week. Estamos a la mitad de la semana. That's great. Tomorrow we are going to finish this English course. And I want to know if you have already complete the platform, the section number five in the final exam. Have you already completed those exercises? Yes, ya todos terminaron esos ejercicios. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's great. The yes. Says, yes, yes, I have already finished. Sure. Uh, Jaime say yes, I have finished. Ivan, what about you, Ivan? Yes, finish. Okay, excellent. I got my certificate. Ah, okay. Y ya pueden ver su diploma. Esa es otra cosa que quería preguntarle. Ya. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Ya lo tengo, ya lo imprimí. Ah, okay, that's yes, great. Teacher. Qué bien, entonces. También quiero preguntarles antes de comenzar la clase si ya enviaron sus documentos para inscribirse en el siguiente módulo. ¿Cómo van con ese proceso? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ya estoy yes. inscrito. Ah, ok. Teacher, solo una pregunta. A mí no, no me han confirmado de haber, de haber recibido mis documentos, pero sí lo envié hace una semana, creo, cuando, cuando pusieron el mensaje. Ok, a veces se tarda un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero si sí puede inscribir a la persona que la estaba asistiendo para que le revise, ¿verdad? Si ya tienen sus documentos listos para el siguiente curso. ¿De acuerdo? Escríbanle ahí, ¿verdad? A quien sí. estaba asistiendo. ¿Me, me escuchan bien? ¿Perdón? Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, ok. Teacher. Sí. Eh, solo voy a estar, no puede participar hoy porque me duelen los, los ojos. Bueno, me arden los ojos. Solo voy a estar escuchando la clase, teacher. Está bien. Ok, it's ok, no problem. Get well soon. And Samuel también está enviando un mensaje por acá. A ver, Samuel dice, good, good evening. Um, estoy mal de salud, me siento muy mal. Ok, that's great. Uh, ok, Samuel, no problem. Eh, ok, entonces los, aquellos que no han enviado sus documentos, please eh, envíenlos, ¿verdad? Mándenlos para que puedan continuar en el Pero, siguiente curso. Pichera, me falta imprimir y en la fecha así y firmar. Solo eso me falta a mí. Va, está bien, no olviden que la fecha límite es el 4, ¿verdad? Es el 4 de octubre y probablemente sí, yo, el curso comienza el 10, el 10 de octubre. Van a tener un par de semanas de vacaciones. Sin preocupaciones. Ok, espero que ya todos hayan terminado la sección número 5 y también el examen final. El día de hoy vamos a tener un repaso del examen final. In the final test, we see some topics about the going to, acerca del uso del going to. También hay about, acerca del simple past, acerca del pasado simple. So let's go with this review. Let's start with this review tonight. Final exam review. That is the topic for tonight. Here we go. 
I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, thank you, man. Thank I you can so see. Okay, so welcome to the class number 15, right? Today is the class before the last one. La clase antes de la última, que es mañana. ¿no? Tomorrow is the final class. So let's start with this tonight. And we're going to start with this. It's a listening part. We are going to listen and then we are going to answer this question. Let's see. Let's listen to number one. And the question is, where are Helen and Mark going? So let's listen. One. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, where are Helen and Mark going? Yes. Um, a comprar un presente. Yes. Um, shopping. Uh, um, a comprar un presente, teacher. Okay, yes. Is, uh, van a comprar un presente. ¿Ambos o solo Mark o solo Helen? Eh, Mark. Okay, Mark is going to buy a present for his father because it's his father's birthday. Yes, now where are they going? ¿A qué lugar van a ir? To the shopping mall, to the mall, to the department store, to the bank? Department store. A bank and a department store. Okay, excellent. Helen is going to the bank and Mark is going to the department store. Now let's see, what is a Smith department store? It's the second question in the second listening part. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Where is the department store? Según el, el audio, están perdiditos si no hayan la dirección, pero es on the corner of First and Main. Okay, it's on the corner of First and Main. So let's take a look at the transcript of this conversation. One, hey, two. Mark, where are you going? Uh -oh. sorry, sorry. I think we're lost. Okay, here is the first one. So take a look at this. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. So I am going to Smith department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm gonna walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. So this is the lesson. And let's see the second. In the second part, we have this. Uh oh, I think we're lost. What is Smith department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on Second Street. No, it's not. We are on Second Street now. I think it's on Main. You are right. It's on the corner of First and Main. That is the listening part. Now, when when is uh, when is gonna be Mark's father's birthday party? When is gonna be Mark's father's birthday party? ¿Cuándo va a ser la fiesta del papá de Mark? El Saturday. Ok, on Saturday. Very good. 
So is he gonna drive to the department store? Is no, Mar no, no. Tell me, Ivan. She don't have gasoline in the car. Okay. He don't no, have he... any gasoline in the car. No, he isn't because he doesn't have any gasoline in the car. So he's going to walk. And Helen is going to the bank. Now in the second conversation, they are lost. I think we're lost. Eh, ¿Será cierto que se pierde uno cuando solo anda conduciendo y luego le toca ir en bus? Is it true? Yes, it's true. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, well. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in the first conversation and conversation number one. Well, it's the same conversation, but it has been divided into parts, uh, in four parts indeed. So I have Ivan. Thank you so much, Ivan. And any other volunteer tonight? Thank you, Jose Alberto. So let's send Ivan and Jose Alberto. Y en la segunda parte, we're going to have Hugo and... Oh, do you have a question, Hugo? Or do you want to participate? Participate. Ah, okay. In the second conversation with Damaris, Hugo. Thank you so much. So let's okay. start with Jose Alberto and Ivan. Okay. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. So I go into the speed department store. Are you gonna drive there? No, I have any gasoline in the car. I gonna walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's you not far like from it. Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Ivan and Roberto. Uh, let's listen, Hugo and Damaris, please. Hugo, can you please start? Okay, teacher. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, in the second conversation, Hugo, please. In the second one. Completo. En el segundo, en la segunda conversación, please. Uh oh, oh. Sorry. Okay. Uh oh, the the thing where thing we are long. Where is it's me in the apartment store? I am not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where is it? No, no, really. It's... Well, I think it's on Second Street. No, it's not where. We are on the sec second screen now. I think it's no, it's mine. You are right. It's on the corner of first and May. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Damaris, Ivan, and Roberto in this part. Let's go with the next. How do you get to Smith Department Store? So he's looking for a direction. ¿Cómo llego a la tienda de departamentos Smith? And the second, what is Mark going to buy? So let's listen to this. How do you get to Smith Department Store? ¿Cuál es la dirección para llegar a Smith Department Store? Let's listen. Three. Um... So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Oh, how do you, you get to Smith Department Store? And let's stay a little bit trying to Three. Um... So how do we get there from here? Okay, it says walk up. Four. What do you to Maine? Turn right. Okay, walk up. Second to Maine. Turn right. Let's see. 
we just walk a second to Main. Then we turn right. It's down the strip on the left. A la izquierda o a la derecha? Izquierda. A la derecha, right. Okay, on, on the left. Is izquierda o derecha? On the left. Izquierda. Okay, hay que girarla. Izquierda. Very good. So, mm, so, how do we get there from here? Well, we are on second now, right? Yeah. Well, we just walk up second to main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. To volunteer to practice in this small conversation, please. Who wants to practice tonight? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Francisco Antonio and Maria Dolores. So can you please start, please? Okay, Marie. teacher. Okay, Fran, do it. Mm, so, how do we there? How do we get there from here? We are on second now, right? Yeah. Well, we just walk up second to May. Are you sure? Yes. Then we tour I. It is down the street on the left. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to the last conversation. This is the last part of this listening. What is Mark going to buy? Al final, ¿qué es lo que va a comprar Mark? What is Mark going to buy as a present for his father? I'm going to buy for your father. I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, what is Mark going to buy? A tie or a sweater? A sweater. A sweater. Okay, at the end, he decided to buy a sweater. Okay, at the end, he decided to buy a sweater. Very good. So let's see. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not, sure. I'm not so sure. Maybe a tie. No estoy seguro. Tal vez una corbata. Oh, no, not a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at this sweater here. Oh, they are nice. I think I get it one. Thanks. So he's going to buy a sweater at the end. Very good. So this is the listening part of the final exam. Uh, do you have any questions about this conversation? Any new vocabulary in this? ¿En qué tiempo estaba esta conversación? Future or past? Future. Okay. Future. Future, right? Future. And Future. they are using mostly the uh, going to. Going to and gonna. Gonna. Do you remember the sound gonna? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar gonna? Okay, gonna is an informal uh, pronunciation. The going to. The going to, okay, excellent, very good. Y también en esta parte, en este listening, encontramos el tema de giving direction. ¿Se acuerdan cómo dar direcciones in English? So, for example, we say, then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Just walk up second to main. So we study this expression when we are studying the topic giving direction, dando direcciones, that in English. And I have this map for you. Which places can you identify in this map? First National Bank, King Plaza Hotel, France Cafe, Jamie's mm -hmm. Hotel. Varios lugares. 
Okay. We have the laundromat, the post office, the gym, gas the station. park, the gas station, Princess Grocery Store, the National Bank, and we have Parker's Drug Store, Jameson Hotel, yeah, Rosa's Restaurant, Mong and Pope's Groceries, Parker Drug Store, and Top Shoes, and All Days Department Store. Now, I have some question for you. Do you remember the preposition of place? We studied some preposition of place in this court. So do you remember? Near, between, on, in front of. Yes, thank you so much. Across from, near. Across from, near. Next, next to, to okay. next to, next is another one. Excellent. Behind, so behind is another behind one. A stroke, a stroke of. In front of, across from. So I have this here. Preposition of place. Next to. What is the meaning of next to? Do you remember? Contigo a la par. Ok, es muy good. ¿Cuál de esas preposiciones significa atrás de? Behind. 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 Perfect. Al otro lado de la calle. Across, Across from. from. Across, Across from. from. En la esquina de. The corner of. On the corner of. In the corner. En medio de. Between. Between. Between, between, between. Between. between, I see that you can remember. Now I have some question for you. I guess I have some question for you. Let's see, oh, there is another thing. So where is, where is the gas station, for example? Where is the gas station? Can you use this preposition of place to tell me where is the gas station? Then you say the gas station is preposition of place. The gas station is across from post office. Okay, let's see, across from the post office. Okay, it could be the gas station is across from the post office. It's here, right? The post office is here and here is the gas station. Any other preposition that we can use? To locate the gas Next station. Next to library. library. To okay. Public. The gas station library. is next to the public library. Thank you. Any other? Can we use another? Hi. The first national okay. bank. Behind the first national bank. Okay. Creería que esto todavía es parte de la gas station. Then you are right. And also we can use in front of. In front of the. In front of. Uh, first. Okay. In front of the shopping center. First Avenue shopping center. Very good. También teacher gas station on the corner of the first avenue and main street. Perfect. I think we can use that too. Very good. Now, Parker's Drugstore. Where is Parker's Doctors? Can you help me say in this sentence? ¿Dónde está la farmacia? The Parker's Parker. Drugstore is between the Mom's and Pump's Grocery and Top Shops. Top shoes, muy bien. Excellent. Top, top shoes, perdón. No, no, Ex no lo distinguí. Excellent sentence, thank you. So, can you please tell me what is Rosa's restaurant? What is Rosa's restaurant? It is Rosa's restaurant. What is Rosa's restaurant? Next to Frank Coffee. Near Frank Coffee. Okay. Uh, it's next to. 
Están justo a la par. Then we use next to. Eh, you're right. So you say, Rosa's restaurant is next to Frank's cafe. Thank you. Any other preposition of place that we can use? Rosa's restaurant on the corner of um, Maple mm -hmm. Avenue and Pine Street. O no sé cómo se pronuncia. Pine, Pine Street. Pine Street. On the corner of Maple Avenue and Pine Street. But in this case, it's not in the corner, so probably we can use on. So oh. Rosa's restaurant is on Maple Avenue. It's on. In front of uh, King Plaza Hotel. Okay, it's in front of King Plaza Hotel. Yes. So the last question, what is Joe's gene? What is Joe's gene? Jim, teacher. Yes, the gene. Joe's gene. Joe's gene. Jim is between on the post office and all these department Base. store. Well, okay. department store. Excellent sentence. Thank you. So Joe's gene is between the post office and all days department store. Also, we can say Joe's gene is on Main Street. Está sobre la calle principal. And this is the last one. This is really the last one. What is the Landro Mouth? What is the Landro Mouth? Landro Mouth is behind the post office. Excellent. Thank you. The Landro Mouth is behind the post office. So in this way, we use this preposition of place, right? to locate places in the city. In next to, on the corner of, behind, across from, between, in front of, on, and on to. Any question in this part? Do you have any question? No question? Then let's continue. No. Okay, let's go with the next exercise. Now let's take a look. Then in the final exam, encontraron un ejercicio parecido a esto, the simple past questions. Remember that we have a yes, no question and also information question. The first one, uh, where your parents born in the USA, in the US, is it a yes, no question or an information question? Information. Yes, no question. Okay, it's a yes, no question. Then you say, yes, they were, or no, they weren't. But let's look for the answer in the letters. Question number one, were your parents born in the US? Where did you grow up? How was your first English teacher? When did you come to New York? How was your first day in the US? So let's look for the answer here. Number one, what is number one? What is the right answer? Number D. No, no, no they, they weren't. They yeah. were born in ES, yes. ES, uh, ESA. Okay, thank you. Well, very good. That is the right answer. The second, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Sorry, I grew up. Did you grow up? I Michael. grew up in San Miguel. Okay, very I good. I grew, grew up, up in San, San Miguel. Uh, who was your first English teacher? Letter E. My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. Excellent, thank you. And number four, when did you come to New York? I, to I New came York. to New York in 20... Okay. One C. 2010. <laughs> okay. 2010 or 2010. 2010 or 2010. And the last one, how was your first day in the US? Then I was a little sad. I missed my I country. country. Okay. Estaba un poco triste. Extrañaba a mí. 
país. ¿Han estado lejos de casa alguna vez? Did you miss your home? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, now let's see a look. Where is asking for a place, right? Who is asking for a person? When is asking for time? And how? How was? How is como? Como te fue? Como? So how was your first day in the US? Como estuvo tu primer día en los Estados Unidos? In the US. So no question in this part. No question. No hay preguntas. No question, teacher. Ah, okay, that's great. Then here is the key answer. 1D, 2A, 3E, 4C, and 5B. Then take a look at this. Take a look at this paragraph. So it says, yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening. But at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. We heard a lot of the screams. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So in this story, can you tell me which are irregular verbs in this paragraph? Which of these verbs? When is one, yes. Which other one? So we have when and when out. Here. Heard, yes. Said. Said. Okay, let's see. When did you say? Said. We went. Said, yes. We went. Yes, that is another irregular bear, which is another. Gave. Gave. Yes. Okay. Arrive. Um, Arrive. Arrive. Recover. Recover. Arrive is a regular verb. Okay. Arrive is a regular verb. Recover is a regular verb too. Cup. Cup. Cup yes. is a Cup regular verb. Is a irregular verb. Thank you. So what happened in this story? What happened in this small story? When is... Tu Uh -huh. Tell me. Ah, que habían salido, habían salido y este una noche romántica y estaban disfrutando y como a las nueve de la noche en la noche se apagan las luces y salen del del lugar con miedo y se topan con un ladrón. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, más o menos así va la historia. So let's see a look at yesterday. What's the meaning of this phrase? ¿Cuándo sucedió? When did it happen? Ayer. Ayer, yeah. yes. Yeah. So say, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening. Era una noche romántica. Uh -huh. eh, but at. Yeah. ¿A qué hora sucedieron estos eventos? 11, 11. A las 11. <laughs> ah, ok. At 11 o'clock. The lights went out. What does it mean? The light went Se out. Fue la luz. Se, se fue apagaron la luz. las luces. We heard. Se fue la luz. We heard. Oímos. A lot of screen. Is it, ah, what is the screen? <laughs> Gritos. <laughs> eh. <laughs> we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. You say like, what can I do? We no sabíamos qué. Y no sabía no qué hacer. Qué hacer. <laughs> okay. We wanted to go out. Fuimos Queríamos afuera. Queríamos. Se quisieron ir. Se quisieron ir. <laughs> suddenly. Suddenly it's like, de repente, a man appeared. Un hombre un apareció. Un hombre nos dijo. Y dijo. Un hombre, hombre apareció. Alto hay. <laughs> Alto hay. <laughs> Alto hay. En Era un ladrón. <laughs> ah, eh, quédense ahí. Alto hay. 
he was a thief. Yes, he was a thief. Era un ladrón. He had a gun in his hand. ¿Qué tenía en sus tenía, manos? Un arma tenía en sus manos. Ok. There was another, ba another man beside him. Estaba otro hombre a la par de él. We gave them. We gave them our money. No, no. Nos pidió nuestro le dinero. Nuestro, le, le, nos, nosotros le dimos, le dimos nuestro, le nuestro dinero. dinero. ¿Cuántos después minutos de diez después? Minutos, a... uh -huh. Llegó el después policía. de 10 minutos. Llegó la... La policía, policía. y capturó al ladrón. And they caught the thief. But what happened with the money? But we never... Recover nuestro dinero. Nunca se lo nunca recuperó el dinero. Ah, se llevó okay. al, al ladrón y, y el pisto también. <risa> Qué raro, ¿verdad? Bueno, eso pasa en otros ah, países. Algo, algo. Aquí, aquí no, ¿verdad? Aquí le devuelven todo, su celular, su reloj, lo recupera todo. We never recover our money. So now I have some questions uh, for this reading. Let's go to the question. Uh, that is in simple past, right? Sequence of events. Answer the following question about the text. When did this happen? When it's asking for time, when did this happen? Yesterday. Okay, thank you. It happened yesterday. Es como que cuando sucedió algo así. Así es. When, when did this happen? Cuando sucedió esto? It happened yesterday. What time was it when the lights went out? In no. Clock. 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. Thank you. What did they want to do then? ¿Qué querían hacer estas personas? Salir corriendo. Ah, ok. So, how do you say that in English? Run. They went to go out. Ok, they want to, to, go, uh, to they go, went, out. They went to go out. Ellos querían irse, ¿verdad? They wanted to go out. Who was the man that appeared? ¿Quién, quién fue? It's asking for a person. Who was the man that appeared? Was a thief. He, he was, he a, was thief. a thief. Yes. What did the people give the thief? What did the people give the thief? ¿Qué le dieron a los ladrones? They give a money. Okay. People gave the thief their money. Money. Personas le dieron a los ladrones su dinero. And the last one. Did the police catch the thief? It's a yes no question. It's a yes no question, the last one? Yes, they did. Yes, they, yes did. they did. Excellent answer. So, very good. So, let's say a look at this. Toda la mayoría eran preguntas de información. Except the last one. It's a yes no question. So, don't forget about this. We have two types of questions. Information question and yes no question. Let's go to the next thing here. Oh, do you remember all these reading? It is in the final exam too. ¿Se acuerdan de esta lectura? Estaba en el examen final también. Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you... Excuse me. Hello. Tell me. No, al final estaba. Ah, okay. El yes. Examen. La At última parte. De la, de, de la cinco, creo que es. Ok, so let's see a little Ricky Martin. Are you fan of Ricky Martin? Or were you fan of Ricky Martin? Are you still fan of Ricky Martin? ¿Todavía son fans de este cantante? Oye, no, pero antes sí. Ah, ok, so you were. So you say, I was a fan. I was a Ricky Martin fan. What about you, Ivan? 
Uh, he had a uh, good music. Ah, yeah, yes, he has uh, some good songs. So let's start with paragraph number one. Uh, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th. In 1971, he was always a performer as a child. He appeared in television commercial and studied singing. Question in this small paragraph, in the first paragraph, sorry. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. How do you pronounce this year? How do you pronounce this year? San Juan. Nineteen seventy one. Nineteen seventy one. Okay. Any question? New no words in this part? No. Let's go with the second then. At the age of twelve, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. How many years he was in Menudo Band? ¿Cuántos años perteneció a esta agrupación? Cinco five años. Years. Five, five years. years. Five years. Now let's go. New words in this, new vocabulary in this part. No. Then let's go with the third paragraph. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to US. Okay, where did he move? Where did he move? To Mexico. He moved to Mexico City. And where did he work in Mexico? Oh. In an uh, opera? Okay, in a soap opera. What is the meaning of soap opera? Soap opera. Soap. Novela. Novela, muy bien. Do you have a favorite soap opera? What is your favorite soap opera? De él me recuerdo una que se llamaba Los Muñecos de Papel. No sé si la, la uh, había. No, no really. I don't remember. Quizás con mi mamá cuando estaba pequeño, probably with my mom. Ay, when I was a kid. <laughs> so opera. No, it's because I I used to watch soap operas with my mom when I was a kid. And, and oh, I with my wife I see soap opera. Ah, okay. <laughs> and the, and Yes. Okay, let's go with the next paragraph. Back in the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway shop, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. De regreso en los Estados Unidos, apareció en una novela americana and in the Broadway shop, llamado Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Entonces hizo su primer álbum en qué idioma? In the in English. English language. English. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. ¿A quién cantó esta canción? Ricky Martin. <laughs> Ricky Martin, ok y los del grupo, a quien le gustaba la vida loca living la vida loca aún ah, todavía, ok, that's great I still like it now he's famous around the Nunca world he he escuchado escuchar la canción ah, ok, so take notes take notes take notes And then, now he's famous around the world but he still works hard and he still loves singing 
And as he said to a reporter for the newspaper, USA Today, I want to do this forever. Bueno, está entregado a su profesión. I want to do this forever. Quiero hacer esto por siempre. Okay, now I have some questions here about this, uh, this reading part. What did Ricky Martin study? ¿Qué estudió Ricky Martin? How long was he in menudo? Where did study he Study single. Sing. Okay, singing. He studied singing. Thank you. How long was he in, in menudo? Now let's see a look at this question. How long? It means cuánto tiempo? It was five, five years. years. Five years. Five years. Where did he move first? Mexico City. Me Mexican City. He moved to Mexico City. Did he appear in a soap opera? Soap opera. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. How many albums did he record in Spanish? Living La Vida Loca. Living La Vida Loca? Yes. Three, three Spanish albums. And how was the name of his English album? Living La Vida Loca. No, not really. The album was called Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. So let's see a look of the answer. Uh, okay, I have this answer. Number one, what did Ricky Martin study? You say he studied singing. Very good. How long was he in Menudo? So you say he was in Menudo five years. Uh, did he appear in a soap opera? Yes, he did. Very good answer. Uh, how many albums did he record in Spanish? He recorded two albums. And how was the name of his English album? Ricky Martin. Okay. Now, to continue this class, I want you to think in these two following questions. Pueden, por favor, pensar en las siguientes preguntas. Sí, I'm going to write here one of them. Okay, here we go. Do you remember this question? What are you going? What are you going to do next weekend? What is the meaning of this question? ¿Qué vas a hacer el siguiente fin de semana? Okay, thank you. And then I want you to think in this other question. What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Okay, so the first one. What are you going to do next weekend? It's in future, so you have to use the going to. Usted le va a contar a sus compañeros qué va a ser el próximo fin de semana. And what did you do last weekend? También le va a contar qué hizo el fin de semana anterior. Ok. So I'm going to divide the class in a small groups and you are going to share with your class. Do you agree? Any question with this activity? Is it clear? Hello, guys. What are you going to do next weekend? What did you do last weekend? We are going to discuss this in a small group. Are you ready? Is I'm ready. Is... Okay, cool. What about ready, the, rest of the class? You are ready. Okay, that's great. So don't forget these two questions. What are you going to do next weekend? What did you do last weekend? So future tense and past tense. You are going to, yes? The, the, the respuesta sería, I am going to do. Oh, okay. Para hablar de los planes en futuro, necesitamos I'm going. Sería I'm 
going to. Y aquí va un verbo de la acción que va a realizar. Por ejemplo, I am going to visit my parents. I am going to drive my car. I am going to go shopping. Entonces, ahí va a ir el verbo de, lo, de la acción que va a realizar. I am going to play soccer. I am going to listen to music. I, se puede, I am going to fix car. Ok, I am going to fix my car. O I am going to fix a car. Y en la segunda pregunta. Ok, I'm going to work. Yes. Por lo menos cinco planes, ¿verdad? Cinco actividades que vayan a hacer el próximo fin de semana. Y en la segunda, por lo menos cinco actividades que hicieron el fin de semana pasado. Entonces sería I más el verbo en pasado. Más un complemento. Plus a complement. Let's see, for example, I washed my clothes. I washed my clothes. I work. I work at home. Trabajé en casa. I visited my in-laws. Okay, I visited. I visited my girlfriend. I visited my girlfriend or I visited my family. Well, I don't know, but the activity that you did, is it clear now? Yes. Can, can we go to the small groups to work? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me see. We are 11 right now. So. Okay, let's work in pairs. We are going to have five minutes to complete this exercise. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para que comparta con su compañero, ¿verdad? So, va a recibir ahí una invitación para unirse al, a la sala. Entonces, le da que sí, por favor. Ok, here we go. ¿Ya recibieron la invitación para unirse a las salas? Ok. María Dolores recibió la invitación para unirse a las salas. Hello, Candida Beltrán. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. ¿Recibió una invitación para unirse a las salas, Candida? Yes. Creo que sí. Ah, ok.
Hello, Marta, Jacqueline. Hello, Carmen, Maria. Hello, teacher. Come on. Carmen, can you help me answer in the first question? What are you going to do the next weekend? Yeah, I am going to I am going to go to uh, the church. Excellent answer. Thank you. I am going to go to the church. That is one activity. Can you help me with another one? Um, I am going to visit my parents. Perfect answer. Thank you. Any other activity that you are going to do next weekend? Um, I am going to. I am going to. Uh, I am going to um, uh, clean, clean, cleaning my house. Okay, excellent. I am going to clean my house. Clean my house. Okay, excellent. In any other plan? Mm, I am going to take my car to the car wash. Okay, excellent. Excellent sentence. Thank you. I am going to take my car to the car wash. Perfect. And Marta Jacqueline, can you help me answering the question? What are you going to do next weekend? Hello, Jacqueline. Parece que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Ah, okay. Okay. Mi micrófono no funciona. Okay, no problem then, Marta. Thank you so much. Now, um, I'm going to write here a question for you. Let's see, are you going to watch a movie? Are you going to watch a movie next weekend? Va a haber una película la próxima semana, fin de semana, sorry. Are you going, are you going to, are you going to watch a movie next weekend? So write your answer. Are you going to watch a movie next weekend? And Carmen, then can you please tell me what did you do last weekend? Algunas actividades que realizó el fin de semana pasado. The uh, last weekend, I, I did um the clean house <laughs> all weekend I clean the house <laughs> ah okay then uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I did I did go to the I did I go to the, the, um, the restaurant for lunch ah okay so I went to a restaurant. I went, oh, I went. I went to a restaurant and I cleaned. I cleaned my house. Then can I ask you some yes no question? Let's see, for example, did you listen to music last weekend? Yes, I listened. I listened music the last okay. weekend. Okay. Yeah. Which music did you listen? Bachata, merengue, cumbia? Uh, I like reggae music. Okay. No reggae, no reggaeton, reggae. <laughs> reggae, okay. Like Bob Marley. <laughs> Bob Marley, yes, that is one yeah. of my favorite artists too. Yes, nice. He <laughs> has some great songs. Yes, uh, yes, I love did, did you stay home? Yes, I stayed at home the weekend. Oh, on Saturday. Ah, okay. Did you watch a movie? Yes, I watched the movie. I watched a movie. Perfect. Yeah. What is your favorite movie, by the way? Uh, I, I know her favorite movie. Hi. Uh, um. 
Maybe I like the comedy. Oh, comedy movies. That's great. Comedy. Very good. Okay, thank you, Marta, Jacqueline, and Carmen Maria. You did a great job during this exercise. Thank you so much. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates on the meeting, right? Les ven okay, un minuto. Les ven un minuto con sus compañeros. Bye. Hello, Hugo. Welcome. Hello, Ivan. Welcome. Damaris. Jaime. Hello. Welcome to the meeting. Hey, how was your practice? Did you finish? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, why not, Ivan? What happened? No se pudo. No se pudo. No pude participar en el grupo. No. Ah, okay. Uh, hello, Andrea. Welcome. Candida, welcome. Maria Dolores, welcome to the meeting again. Okay, Ivan, let's share here with your classmate. Uh, what are you going to do next weekend? What are your plans? What are you going to do? I wanted to play basketball with my Great. son. Great. Interesting plan. Any other plan? And I want to make a pizza because I, I have a, a business in my house. Oh. And every weekend I make pizza. Okay. You say pizzas. That's great. Ok, bueno, él invita las pizzas para el, la clase de mañana. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. excellent. Ah, ok, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. Thank you, los... <laughs> los demás sí lograron completar el ejercicio. ¿Quién más no participó? Jenny. Yo con Loli, bueno, con María Dolores, con Loli. Eh... Yo tengo las respuestas de ella, de lo que ella hizo y de lo que va a hacer. Ah, ok, that's great. Can you share it with us? Yes. Lo que ella eh, hizo. Uh -huh. Loli eh, going to work next weekend. Oh, Loli is going to work. Ok, excelente. The next weekend. Uh -huh. Next weekend. Y lo que va a hacer de the last weekend. Eh, Eh, ah no, lo que hizo el, el fin de semana pasado she went to the park eh, Lily went to the church eh, watch eh, her clothes and clean the house excellent job, thank you Andrea thank you so much eh, anyone? ahora yo si gusta eh, eh, participo con lo que Andrea hizo y lo que va a hacer Excellent. Do it, please. Okay. Andrea, uh, in the... Your microphone. Turn on your microphone, Maria Dolores, please. In the last weekend, she, she going to work. And then next weekend, she is sleeping her late. Andrea washes the clothes in the lab a leg. So eight out. She went the party on the night. 
Okay, excellent. So she went to a party at night last weekend. She washed in her clothes and she ate out with his friends or with his family, with her family, sorry, with her friends or with her family. Salió a comer, man. that's great. Y el próximo fin de semana, you say, she's going to work. Le va a tocar trabajar, and then, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to have another practice like this one. You are going to share with your classmate. So please don't miss the class. No se pierdan la última clase en mañana, ¿verdad? See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow is our last class. Please, si todavía no ha terminado la plataforma y el examen final, do it, please. Hágalo, ¿verdad? Mañana antes de nuestra clase ya debe de estar terminada la plataforma. Todos los ejercicios y el examen final resuelto. ¿De acuerdo? So, work yes, on that, teacher. please. Si todavía le falta algún ejercicio, hagámoslo el día de mañana. Después de esta clase, lo puede hacer. ¿no? Si ya lo hizo, pues, congratulations. Ok, thank you, teacher. Hey, teacher. Ay, ¿Quién está abriendo el quesito? Alguien está abriendo un churro por ahí. <risa> que nos comparta. <risa> Así se escuchó. Bueno, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, good night teacher. Nos vemos. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Bye-bye, Candida.